So you've invested in a water filtration system for your family, your water's great now, you're all done now, right? Nope, afraid not. You need to maintain that system. Maintaining that system will protect your investment long term. We'll also make sure that your equipment keeps working as efficiently as possible all the way through its service life and we'll make sure that it's working properly to fulfill this function that it was uh, intended to do. What's that maintenance involved? Do you really know? Are you sure? Are you not sure? Well, I'm going to explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. Quality water filtration equipment will easily last you 15 to 20 years, but you need to know how to maintain it. So let's talk about that right now. So the first thing you need to do is get a surge suppressor. One of these things, a power bar with a surge suppressor built into it. Very, very important because most water uh, treat filtration equipment is, has electronic components to it, like your ultraviolet light, your ballast, um, water softener, the circuit boards, tannin filters, etc. Those all need to be protected. And a uh, uh, 15 to $20 surge suppressor like this one is super cheap insurance. So that's the first thing you should do. So let's talk about water softeners. You need to maintain uh, water softener salt inside the brine tank for the water softener to work correctly. Usually a third to a half full works fine, but I do have a link in the uh, description down below to a video of mine that goes more into detail about how much salt should be in your brine tank. There's also another video there that I'll put a link to that talks about what kind of salt to use. The other thing you need to consider is a cleaner. So about once a year you need to add about a cup of uh, ResCare or a product, some, something similar to this that cleans the media inside the water softener. If you have a lot of iron, there's also iron out. And again, I have a video that goes more into detail about that, which I'll put in the description uh, down below. Now, if you have a lot of sand in your water, you need to think about a pre-filter before your water softener to make sure your water softener doesn't get clogged up with that sand. So you can go with a, a 20 inch big blue filter housing, something like this, or in extreme cases, if you've got a lot of sand and you're constantly replacing those filters before the water softener, you can go with a spin down type filter like this to, uh, to keep that clean. But again, you need to make sure you open this periodically to spin it down to uh, remove the dirt from inside. So if you have a tannin filter, the same information applies as for the water softener in terms of how full to keep the salt, etc. But one big difference is the type of cleaner you use to clean out the media tank, and you'd use citric acid. Again, I've got a link to a video down below in the description that goes into more detail about how to use this cleaner in your tannin filter. When replacing those filter cartridges, you need to do some maintenance on the O-ring at the end of the filter housing. You need to use plumber's clear silicone grease, and what that does, it lubricates and extends the life of that O-ring to make it last a lot longer, but also make it easier to put to, to uh, close the seal and make it easier for you to open that filter housing again in the future when it comes time to replace the filter again the next time. Ultraviolet disinfection systems, like the Safe Water 10, needs to have the lamp replaced once a year. It has a built-in timer after 11 months of use. It'll start uh, beeping to remind you that it's time to change the lamp by the time you get around to the 12th month. Not every system has that timer built in, but every system does require the UV lamp to re be replaced after 12 months. So when it comes time to replacing that lamp, make sure that you only handle it by the ceramic ends with your bare hands or with a cloth because you don't want to get fingerprints over the part in the middle because that will def definitely shorten the life expectancy of that lamp. When you're replacing the lamp, you also need to clean the quartz sleeve because as you can appreciate, the light may be shining bright, brand new lamp, but it's not going to kill any bacteria if the sleeve is so dirty that the light can't shine through at its full intensity to kill that bacteria. If you can't get that sleeve clean, you have to replace it with a new one. There's also pre-filtration on an ultraviolet disinfection system. So this one has a sediment filter, a carbon filter before the UV. Those two filters also need to be replaced once a year, or if your water slows down before once a year, you might need to replace the sediment filter more often. If you have an air over media iron sulfur filter like this one that sucks in air through here, you need to have the injector cleaned typically once a year. And uh, what that injector does, it creates the suction to draw in air through here to, to make the whole system work, uh, typically. Now, if you have a lot of iron in your water, that injector may be clogged more often. And uh, how you know that it's clogged is if you start to get iron staining or if you've got sulfur, you start to get that sulfur smell back, it's time to do some maintenance on it. And again, I've got a great link to, uh, in the description down below that shows you exactly how to replace that injector. So reverse osmosis drinking water systems like this Water Saver 75 need maintenance too. So once a year, there's one, two, three, four filters that need to be replaced. 
The membrane typically lasts three to five years, depending on how much water you use, how hard your water is, and things like that. And again, I've got a great uh, link in the description down below that uh, has a video that shows you how to do this maintenance. A little maintenance and some common sense will make that water filtration investment pay dividends for many years down the road and keep your family safe. So for your next video on water filtration maintenance, go over here and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, please enter them down below. I'd love to see them. I'd love to answer them for you.